Sunday Gospel Reflection, Matthew 23, 1-12, 31st Sunday A, October 5, 2023. Throughout the Gospel Jesus denounces the scribes and Pharisees for the following reasons. 1. For their unbelief. Scribes and Pharisees refuse to believe in Jesus who is the way, the truth and the life, John 14, 6, and persist in their stubbornness of heart. By teaching contrary doctrines, they become effective living instruments of producing another breed of legalists, hypocrites and damned children twice as much as themselves. Hence, blind guides of the blind, Matthew 23:16, they preach but they do not practice, they tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them to people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them, Matthew 23, 3-4. 2. For their pride and arrogance. Jesus said, Look at the scribes and Pharisees, all their works are performed to be seen. They widen the phylacteries and lengthen their tassels, Matthew 23, 5. He also denounces them for, they love the place of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues, and salutations in the marketplaces, Matthew 23, 6-7. They also take pride when they are addressed as teacher and father in public, Matthew 23, 6-10. This is a temptation that corresponds to human pride and that is not always easy to overcome. It is the attitude of living only for appearances that can be 1. Intentionally pretending. 2. Deceiving by nature and motive. 3. For the sake of personal vain glory. In contrast, Jesus warns, The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Matthew 23, 11-22. 3. For their hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is defined as, pretension to qualities which one does not possess or putting forward of a false appearance of virtue or religion, Catholic Encyclopedia. We are guilty of hypocrisy when we pretend to be better, holier and morally superior to others and on the process we call their attention and we get their respect, praise and admiration through our lies, deceits and machination. No wonder Jesus describes them as whitewashed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth, Matthew 23 27. Indeed, when it comes to teaching or preaching, nothing is as effective as good example and nothing is as corrosive as bad example. In today's Mass, therefore, once again let us be reminded to guard ourselves against the evil and danger of duplicity hypocrisy and dissimulation. Let us strive to be honest, sincere, true and faithful in thought, word, deed and every aspect and moment of our life. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from God.